name is Andy Doyle, I'm an tillage editor with the Farmers Journal. We're on the farm of Liam Dunn in Athai, County Kildare. Farm is a predominantly tillage farm, typical of the area, growing a range of crops, running a rotation, a mixture of winter and spring planting, gathering their own straw post-harvest, and uh, just trying to make a living. Liam, we're here today on your tillage farm in Athai. Can you just explain about the farm, what you're doing here? Yeah, it's about um, just over 180 acres altogether, a small amount of permanent pasture that's rented. All tillage, except a bit of grass, I don't keep any animals. Uh, it's mostly winter cereals, predominantly winter wheat, a bit of oats, uh, including black oats. I also grow a small bit of, of barley too. Um, came in last year because of tree crop rule and whatnot. Well, you've mentioned the fact that the, the tree crop rule was imposed upon us. The whole greening element of the CAP is something that was introduced in the current round of the CAP. Uh, would you explain just what greening is from your perspective? It means that your mixture of crops now becomes important. Before this, you would just simply decide what you were putting in what field. Uh, but now you have to be aware that there are certain percentages of different crops. You have to have at least three crops. A uh, winter crop and a spring crop are considered to be two different crops. If you're over 30 hectares, you have to have three crops. If you're over 10 hectares, you have to have two crops. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, there's the ecological focus areas, which is basically taking account of the fact that there should be areas just left to nature in some sense. And the one that we in Ireland picked up on in particular because we have plenty of them, and that's hedges. Uh, hedges are very, very good for the environment. Um, there's lots of wildlife in them. We're obliged to have at least 5% of ecological focus area on our farms. Are there plus sides to what greening is offering, either the countryside or the consumer? It's going to be a, a protection for all of those environmental features that are on farms. The mixture also uh, means that there's going to be more winter cereals on farms, uh, which overall is a good thing. Uh, because there was too much land left fallow as such over the winter time. In future, I think we're even going to see a system in coming into place where uh, for distilling, there's possibility now that they're going to actually produce whiskey, that they're going to be able to say this, the, the barley for this was produced on these 20 or 30 farms in this particular year. And that will be a special blend of whiskey from that. And this is one of the things that they're looking at. So those sort of systems are all in place. We, we every piece of of produce off of cereal farms in Ireland is traceable right to the right to the table. This is all part of the sustainability debate and it is something that any thinking farmer, particularly any thinking family farmer, has to be involved and engaged in. Yeah. We have to get the productivity of the ground up. It is a particular form of, of farming that we want to keep. It works for our environment, we want to keep it that way. All in all, it's going to be of benefit to people. In fairness, you know, the crops that we produce will end up on people's tables. And it's very important that, that they're grown in such a way that the environment is not being damaged. Uh, in fact, it's, if it's being improved, that's what it's all about.